Arts Bridging Community ABC, Easy as ABC program, which will bring a whole lot of art programs to the community. It's one of the goals of the project is Humanities in the Public Square, so that we can use the arts and humanities to reach the public and to try and bring the community together. We received a cultural district designation a few years ago, and that kicked off, I think, a whole movement of people who were interested in doing different kinds of arts in public places and different kinds of uh, community-driven projects. Um, and when the NEA grant came across our desks to be able to do something, we kind of just went for it and saw if, if we were gonna, we've done, I think this is the, this was the fourth NEA grant, or fifth maybe, that I had helped to write, and this was the one that finally stuck. And so it's, it's the one that brings the community together uh, to the, the greatest extent compared to all the other ones that we had as other ideas. Um, I think that the NEA saw some, some merit to what we were trying to accomplish with it. And I think that they're, they're looking at how we were going to be using the arts and the cultural district to bring our community to being a, a more cohesive type of a community where we can all talk to each other. And, we can and, and also to the end product is uh, public art pieces that the community can enjoy and that visitors can enjoy. So Right, and that they'll all have a hand in. So we'll have our community that will, first of all, give us the ideas that we need. So it comes from their experience and their what's important to them, what's important to everybody in our community. Um, and then they'll also have a hand in actually creating that artwork. And I think that was the thing that was, I think, the really beautiful thing about the program. I think the reason that we were chosen this time around for this particular project is because we have such a strong component to be able to bring the community in to, to really get at their ideas. These ideas of the picnics coming in, getting people together to talk to each other about different ideas, coming together to decide what types of things are most important to include in the community and where to put that public art, uh, the locations that, that people already are going to because that's where they find community. This idea of placemaking is something that's really strong and that's something that we wanted to tap into. And so, you know, finding the places where people like to go now, beautifying those places, and to ask for their input to share. Art bridges community. Art brings people together. And not only does it bring people together because we ask for volunteers, we asked for volunteers and the people came and 60 people came or however many it was and helped and that brought people together. People of all, all kinds and all ages came and helped paint and they were all artists for the time they were there. But it also brings people together in that the perception of art, the enjoyment of art is the same. That as far as art goes, everybody is an artist in some way. Doing the project in Smithville was one of the most fun mural projects I was ever on. And the reason for that is because all the community participated. Well, I don't know all, but there were like 60 people who helped me with these murals. And they were ages six to 60 and I found jobs for everybody. They were fantastic. They all wanted to help, they all wanted to paint, and they all became artists, and we put their names on the murals. I hope it gave them the knowledge that they can create. And in my universe, there's nothing more wonderful than the joy of creating. People who helped me in Smithville, they just wanted to help. They just wanted to be a part of public art. My impression of Smithville was that everybody in Smithville was great and got along and helped each other. But it just was such a fun community. When I'm creating art, everything else disappears. There aren't any bills and problems. And I hope that some of them experience that too and continue to do art. You paint a picture and you sell it and it hangs in somebody's living room, and a few people enjoy it. But public art is a t totally different class. The very least that public art should do is make you smile. Public art is for everybody. Public art is for little children and old people and 
and every working person and it's for rich people and poor people and everybody in between and people who collect art and people who don't collect art and if you can walk by it and go hmm look at that yeah I've done my job public art enriches a community art transcends all the mundane problems of everyday life. When I paint, all my problems go away. I'm also an art teacher, and I hope to teach that to other people, that they can find a place of peace by creating. It's the joy of creation. Um, I think art in public places is important because it adds so much character to a community. It makes a place feel more like home. I was, I was compelled as soon as we got here to uh, be a part of the community. And I think the thing that I can offer most of all is my ability to create paintings. You know, it's the thing that I've dedicated the most of my time to developing. It's the thing that I feel like I'm the most skilled at and it seemed important to me as a member of the community to do something with this skill to benefit everyone else. Um, I think I like the abstract work because it allows anybody to see whatever they want in it. I love hearing people tell me things that they see in my paintings that I never would have seen. Um, and, you know, it's, I, I don't want to just do a painting of a train because anybody could just do a painting of a train. I want to do something that is inspired by a train and I know that there's this train hidden in there because that's what it means to me, but other people can look at it and see something completely different and, and find their own importance in it. So to have a giant mural of mine overlooking a train yard is really cool and the dimensions of it are really similar to the dimensions of a boxcar so I like that every once in a while it kind of disappears in the shuffle of cars in there and, and gets obscured by other cars passing through it. It almost feels like it is a, a giant boxcar that I painted that just is permanently sitting there. I, uh, I actually really like that it, we ended up moving it so it's right alongside the tracks. But, like an unbelievable dream come true for me. It was a really neat opportunity working on this to have the community come out and, and paint along with me. I got to meet uh, Judy Paul, who's a local painter. I got to meet uh, some local kids. I got to meet uh, all kinds of new folks that I, I didn't know and, and actually like spend a few hours kind of huddled together with paintbrushes and chatting and getting to know each other. It was really neat. And, and you know, I think that's really cool that you know, they get to tell their friends that they helped work on that. And uh, hopefully they feel, you know, the same ownership and pride in it that I feel in it. I think it, it adds color and it adds character and it livens up a place and it gives people a sense of uh, ownership and pride in an area that they might not have otherwise. I think that art is our culture. Uh, art is what we leave behind. It's the record that we leave for people to remember who we were and what was important to us. It's an honor to be able to create a piece that is going to highlight something that I find so endearing about Smithville, and that is the community gardens. The community gardens is the location where my sculpture is going to go, and I love gardening, I love the, the passion that I see in the community gardens organization and what they're doing to feed the hungry people of this community. And for me to be able to create a sculpture, a living sculpture that is also gonna draw attention to the community gardens, both for the people that need to eat and for the people that need to support the organization is, it just makes me happy. My sculpture is going to be a, 
elderly woman. I call her a gardening granny. And she will be holding a basket, which will be filled with whatever produce is available in season to a young child, fostering that love of gardening and eating healthy and working in the, in the soil, that love to that child. The, the way I create my sculptures is I actually dip true articles of clothing in a concrete blend, a formula I learned from a guy in Scotland, and then drape it over a armature that I can then remove. So it's, an, it's a hollow sculpture. And the sculptures will have a lot of pockets and places in the rims of the hat uh, and various places where it can be planted. So the community gardens people will help decorate by painting the sculpture once it's in place, planting a, a flower bed around it, and also keeping the, the sculpture itself growing and, and alive. Smithville is an amazing town, and I am so excited to be a part of this project because the community that I feel here and how this town takes care of their people is so endearing. And it's an honor to be chosen to be a part of this. This place just feels like home. For me, when you look at the five portraits, it makes a statement of what Smithville is about. Even though I'm hundreds and hundreds of miles away where I'm from, um, people really aren't that different. I like researching the history of places I'm not from. Uh, I find murals are good ways of communicating narrative, you know, telling a story. And when I, when I looked up Smithville on Wikipedia, um, it quickly showed me the notable people from Smithville. What was interesting about this process, though, is I put that, so I picked the, the top five that I could see and then let Smithville decide. It was interesting to see the list of people that came back, um, but also even, like, I don't think you could have picked um, an uglier structure or place to beautify. And so if you take the history of, of your place and put those people there, it's, I mean, it's a super win, you know? There's a certain moment, I think, when a town looks inside itself and goes, okay, who are the important people? Who haven't we celebrated yet? And that's a hard, that's a hard move. And so I think what, what shook out is a, is a nice cross-section of what Smithville's people think are the most notable things and qualities of these people. And it's a, I think it's a diverse collection of people. It was an exciting thing to paint because you, with murals, you, you paint something so close to you, but you'd never really see it until you're 200 meters away. At baseline, I think um, you find that pe there are lots of kind people. And, uh, and that, I think that's what it's about. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's incidental that I made some art while I was here. More, it's more important, I think, that made some connections, shared some stories, and um, showed how similar everyone is, no matter where you're from. Public art has a way of uh, bringing community together to decide who to celebrate. In general, I think art is our storyteller of who we are. It's our visual story of who we are now and of who we were and will be. I like recycling stuff and I use a lot of recycled tiles when somebody rips up their floor. I always get that or, you know, whatever they're taken down. And I can glaze them in my kiln and make them fresh and new and red or whatever. So I really like that aspect. I love clay. Working with clay is phenomenal. It's you can do so much. It's so forgiving. You can tell so many stories with a fingerprint or of anything. I love the clay and mosaics really allow like the thing that I 
love to do is get a class or a church or a family or a band or whatever to come together and tell their story in little tiles and then when you assemble all those tiles on a wall it it tells the story and that part is amazing and mosaic offers that in a way that's just fantastic so i wanted to do that sign for dr king living on martin luther king boulevard and i've been at um what is the word i'm i just worship the man and I, you know, that sign needed to be redone. So I really did it so that I could do that sign. I wanted to do it anyway. I probably would have done it anyway. I think that the people in the community on my side of the tracks over there, we don't have a lot of art. Uh, we don't have very much art at all. And it's been really nice to see some of these pieces cross the tracks and share the value over there. And Dr. King certainly has a message over there. And it's a much more... Um, it's a more black community. I think it helps bring the two together that there is art on both sides now. All the pieces everybody has something to do with. There were a lot of people having something to do with how to outline letters, how to shape the letters, how to do. It all comes together organically and I like that part of it. I don't, it's not designed very tight to start with. I think art is a really, it's a, it's a road to honesty and it's a road to community and connection. I think art creates the community. Art builds the community. Art tells the story of the community. Art holds the space for the community. What art does for people is it allows them a way to take what they experience and create something from that. In, in, especially in a community, art creates a conversation that um, draws from history. It definitely creates the conversation where people are trying to figure something out. And so maybe they learn something about the people around them. When people came out to the picnics, they didn't really know how to answer that. It wasn't something that they pondered. And other people, they knew exactly. They, they wanted, you know, a particular musician from the area. but. When they would come to paint, they'd look around and they had to think for, you know, look for a while and think for a while, you know, who are all these people? What, what are we creating? And then they'd start to ask questions. I think they were timid about the project for some reason. Um, and I, I didn't pressure people a lot. You know, I put the question out there and let them think about it and um, let them ask questions and let them be, just kind of be part of the process. So we, we had a number of different instances in the mural where um, something in it, whether it's historical or um, current, uh, connected to somebody here in, in town. It, it was really special to have Hannibal Lacumbe's wife come in and paint um, part of his portrait. And then we also had, um, Critter is actually a person from town. <laughs> it's not just a character. I mean, he was a character. But so that was made from someone actually in town. What I would like to see people get out of the mural is, is to you know, drive by and be happy that there's something that really represents a lot of different people from Smithville. And then I'd like them to go up and really look and see what's in the mural. You know, what are all these parts? Why is there a film strip going through one part of the mural? I'd like them to, to see the different people that are historic um, in it and go, go research, go find out who these people were and what they did for the town. To ask questions and, you know, do their research and find out more, have more conversations, what this project brings to the community. Um, it, it brought people together. They created a new experience among friends. Kind of puts everybody on a more level playing field so you, you feel more comfortable talking. Anybody with a paintbrush and a pot of paint can go out and create something. When I do art, I just tune out everything around me and I focus on the art. So that was a real growing experience for me was to, to back up, let somebody else do something and, and leave it alone, <laughs> you know, and, and, and know that they'll come back and say, hey, I painted that. Just, Jill, what would you say is your favorite part of this man? Oh, my favorite part, let's see. 
I, I think what it really is is to listen to all the people that come up with all these ideas. That I mean, I've, I've only lived here for 10 years, which is not nearly long enough to know enough about Smithville because there's an amazing amount of history for this little tiny location on the map. So, you know, getting that information from the, the, uh, the citizens, the residents who have been here, and, and also the, the new folks who come in and just see interesting things and from different perspectives, um, I think that's been the funnest thing about the whole thing. How about you? Well, uh, just building on what you think about getting that information, the opportunity to display Smithville on a mural that includes its art, its history, its culture, I also like the idea of uh, getting Smithville stories. With the support of the National Endowment for the Arts, we have the ability to have individuality and art to help make Smithville a, a place to want to be through a celebration of our culture, art, and history.